Hey guys, welcome back. It is day two of our Frabjus Farm playthrough, and I am so excited. There is so much we have yet to explore. I'm gonna go ahead and water all of our crops, and then I'm gonna wander around our farm and try to find some tree seeds so we can make some field snacks for energy. Ooh, and we are already out of water. I believe water is in this direction. Ooh, how pretty are these colors? I love this area. Okay. Ooh, not there. Not sure that I highlighted this last time. This is the Convenient Chess mod. It allows you to categorize your chess and to auto-stash things to nearby chests. Let's check our mail. Farmer Meraki, we're lifting the ban on the placement of the prismatic shard inside the crystallarium. Recent studies showed that it's safe and works fine. Initially, we thought that the EMF from the shard would interact negatively with the crystallarium and it could be harmful to people near it, but that's not the case. It just may take a lot more time for the shard to be cloned. We're also pleased to announce that with external help, you can tune the crystallarium to clone a variety of objects, not just gems and minerals. It's even possible to change current copy time of minerals and gems. Ferngill Technology Association. Ooh, this is definitely related to the custom crystallarium mod that's required for Raphidex. It's really nice that we can clone prismatic shards, but with regard to this external help, I'm not sure if they're referring to the config or if we're going to discover some more secrets as we go along, but we'll find out. And Willy! Hello there! Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for ya. Willy. Excellent, okay. On our agenda today, let's go ahead and pull up our journal. So these are our various quests to the beach. Visit the beach south of town before five. That'll be critical today. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. And introductions. Interesting, we're actually doing pretty well on this one. Usually in vanilla you have to meet 28 characters, but it looks of all of the mods I've included, only, what, five of them are added to the introduction quest, so not as daunting as I thought it would be, but we're gonna have to figure out who those five people are. And then, with the deluxe journal mod, we can actually add tasks and notes, so we can keep track of our goals from episode to episode. So, fishing pole. I need to get it from Willy, but I also really want to buy the training rod. I'm not very good at fishing, guys. <laughs> and what else do we want to do? I want to get 300 wood for the beach bridge. So we're going to do some chopping. And fishing for money. Okay. So these are going to be some of our goals for this episode. So before I go, I am going to do a little bit of exploring. I do want to get some more tree seeds for field snacks. And really, ideally, we would clear the road down to the bridge so we can kind of come and go from our farm with a little more ease. Ooh, a little forage. That's nice. I like that forage spawns on our farm. That's great. That's going to make things a lot easier. Oh, we have a beach. Oh, wow. Wow, this is so nice. Look. Okay, if I keep wandering that way, I am definitely going to get lost. So, uh, goals. But I can't wait until we can explore our farm some more. It's going to take forever for us to clear our farm so we can get around. Oh, and guys, we actually did not get any pine tree seeds. 
we definitely are gonna need some of those. I actually don't see any on our farm. Which I normally wouldn't mind. Oh, here's some, okay. You guys, look at this little area off to the right. It's so cute. I'm assuming that's where our animals should go, but I love the watering trough and the barrels. Ugh. Okay, so we are already pretty low on energy, so we will go ahead and forgo chopping down any more trees. There are some we'll get to tomorrow. Let's see. Let's give you a home. Let's craft some field snacks. I think this is a better illustration of the better crafting menu that I installed. You can see how there are categories for each of the different items that we can craft. I'm pretty excited about that. I think it's gonna be really nice. Okay, we have cleared a path down to Marnie's. Let's eat one of these. And then let's go to Willie's. Let's get our fishing rod. Our first cutscene. You walk into the forest and hear an unusual sound. A scream of a woman. <gasps> oh, look, bride. He told me he loved me. A monster was he. The clock struck 8.40. 8.40 and he ran away. I need to get ready for the wedding. My wedding. My love is waiting. He is waiting for me. Oh, what a miserable day. What a wonderful day. I need to be the perfect wife so that 840 will pass. <laughs> Why? Why is it still 840? Why? No, 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 no. This can't be true. No! Abandoned bride screamed in a screeching sound. It almost looked like she was in physical pain. Oh, wow! Oh, and where where are we? Okay, we are down by the sewers. So that's good. It would be better if there were spring onions down here, but... We would have wandered down here anyway, so. Hey, Leah. I heard the scream so clear that I'm still kind of shaking. Who could it possibly be? I'll have to lock my doors tight tonight. Oh my gosh, you guys. They heard the scream too. That's amazing. Okay, okay. Fishing pole, but let's go. Let's go figure out who else heard it. That's crazy. Anyone home? Nope. I don't actually know most of the villagers' schedules, so... Hey, Elliot. The new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. <gasps> Elliot, you look dashing! I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. But, um, Elliot, did you, uh, did you hear a scream? Did you? No? Sam, did you? Did you hear someone scream from the forest? I mean, something interesting happened for the first time living in this town. 
I don't know if I'd call a woman screaming interesting, my man. Hey, Jade. If you ever see a fairy, you have to tell me, okay? That's a promise. Oh my gosh. If you introduce fairies into this game, I am going to be thrilled. Hey, Penny. Did you hear the scream? I'm pretty worried. It seems like most of us heard the scream. Who could it possibly be? Hey, Vincent. What was that sound? Where's Mom? Oh, he looks so scared. Hey, Yaz. Hi. I'm scared. I heard someone scream so loudly and clearly. Aw, I'm sorry. Who else can we find? Oh, also, it is 420. We have got to get to the beach. Whew, we didn't miss Willy. Willy! I am so glad I didn't miss you. Ahoy there, miss. Oh, look at his portrait. Smoking his pipe with his, uh, little hat. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the artificial stays alive, and hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Yay! Our bamboo fishing pole. Thanks, Willy! There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say, anyway. Oh, Willy, we're not close enough yet, but someone really needs to tell you. That's a terrible slogan. Okay, I do really want to chat with Willy, but it's 4.30 and I really want the training fishing rod, so... Pick up a few of these things to sell. Oh, Willy, don't go, don't go, don't go. Oh, it's locked at five. Ugh. Maybe tomorrow. All right, well, let's go talk to some more villagers. Ooh, I heard the door. Oh, Willy. Hoy there. It's nice to see young folk move into the valley. It's not very common these days. Are you sure, Willy? Because I'm pretty sure Riley just moved here, too. I barely heard the screaming from here, but could tell it was unusual. Hmm. Ooh, what you doing? Gunther! Hello, it's a pleasure to meet you. You are rather different from what we all thought you would be, but that doesn't matter. My name is Gunther. I am the manager of this archaeology house. I bet you've yet to meet my nephew. His name is Charlie. He lives here with me. In fact, I did meet your son. Er, nephew. <laughs> Relative. <laughs> I like him. Hey, Lewis. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? Last night was fine. Tonight might be a little freakier. I will look around the town extra careful tonight. No worries. Alright, good deal. Alex, did you hear the screaming? I heard a screeching sound in the forest. I wonder what that was. I know, right? Robin, did you hear it? Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Hey, Meraki. Need help? Screaming? I heard nothing over here. Jody, did you hear it? I better tell the boys to come home early. That scream that echoed through the town was alarming. Right? How about you, Marnie? Do you know anything? Did you hear the scream in the forest? I wonder what's going on. I should go check on my animals. Probably a good idea, Marnie. 
Let's talk to the people in the saloon. Hey, Pam. Something bad is happening. That scream was unusual. I know that for sure. Drink it away, baby. Hey, Gus, did you hear anything? Mm, yeah, I heard a scream from the forest, too. Can it be someone calling for help? Aw, Gus. What about you, Emily? Did you hear the screaming, too? What could it be? Hey, Riley. Oh, Riley, you look lovely. I love that color on you. Sup, I'm thinking of doing some drawing this evening. You got any fun plans? Uh, but did you hear the scream? Huh? You want to know what I'm drawing? Well, that's a secret. <gasps> oh, look! She has a tongue ring. I love the details in these mods. But it makes sense she didn't hear a scream. She's an add-on NPC. What about you, Shane? Who cares about that random noise? <laughs> Figures. Who else is still around? Let's see. Oh, we can say hi to Charlie. Hey, Charlie. What a wonderful day. I feel like I'm going to make new discoveries. Ugh, I love the positivity. Hey, Evelyn, did you hear anything fishy? Always be careful, dear. I've heard someone scream in the forest. Hey, George. <laughs> it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. <laughs> but George, I'm trying to figure out what happened in the forest. Hmm, I don't know why everyone's making a fuss about a noise in the forest. It's probably just the wind. Okay, George. Well, guys, I think that is all the exploring we can do today. We accomplished one goal. We got to meet some new villagers. We explored a little bit, and uh, in particular, our new mod, the Abandoned Bride. But we didn't accomplish much else. <laughs> we do still have some energy, so why don't we go ahead and clear our farm a bit. We have eight energy left, which is just enough to get these two seeds in the ground and watered. And that is our energy spent. Let's check our journal. Ah, uh, we accomplished none of this, but that's okay. We have some new friends. We discovered the mystery of the abandoned bride. <laughs> I'd call it a win. All right, day three, it is raining. And our luck is neutral. So what are our plans today? Our crops are watered. We will make some rounds for tree seeds. This is gonna become the usual. We could do fishing. And when it rains, you can catch a catfish, but there is no way I am gonna be able to do that. I think I want to repair the bridge so that we can have better beach foraging. I love foraging in this game, and there's supposed to be a ton of new forage items available with the Rapidax mod. And let's see how many villagers we still need to meet. Haley, Clint, Abigail. Not sure. Uh, I think that's a forest spirit. Demetrius, the wizard. Forest Spirits, I think. Don't know who that is. I 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 don't know who that is. Well, how are we actually doing on the quest? 
We've met 27 people, so we are missing six people. So if we look at our list, who we need to meet, definitely the vanilla characters, so Haley and Clint and Abigail for sure. Demetrius, that's four. Is the wizard usually part of the 28? I'm not sure. Hmm. So at least four of them are vanilla characters. Ooh, forage, we leveled up, nice. all the things we left behind. And here's another pine tree we can chop down. Oh, guys! This must be our farm cave. Oh, do these things work? They do! Another cave! Oh, this is exciting, guys. Oh my gosh! Look, it's a little beach! Oh, it's so cute, but I can't get to it. We have to upgrade our tools. Let's see what's this way. Oh, this is cute. We got a coconut. Ooh, and there's forage over there. Can I get over there? Uh, okay. Well, I didn't go over wherever that was, but... Oh, this map is huge. I don't know how we get over there. So, that's the first minecart. Let's just go clockwise. I wonder why the beach is literally just blocked off everywhere. <laughs> and what are you? <gasps> Whoa, look at the shed! connect to each other. <gasps> this is where we came from. Whoa, and we're going to have a quarry. Okay. <gasps> oh, and this is the big shed, guys. This is the path down from the bus stop. We are going to be able to jet set around our farm, apparently. Oh my gosh, and dragon remains. <laughs> I am excited, wow. Uh, okay, well, let's get back to exploring our minecarts if I can find my way back. What's next? Ooh. There's a ton of forage over here. More space along the beach. I don't know how we get down there. But there are a ton of tree seeds here. Okay, I don't see any more forage and I really don't want to get lost. So let's head back. Oh, we're blocked in again. More forage, kind of a mountainy area. Out of order. Oh, bet you this connects with the minecart system. And again, we're blocked in, but look, more beach. I cannot believe how big this farm is. Oh. Well, that was a detour. It is 7 p.m. 
so I would say we have not accomplished much today. Let's see about how much wood we have. We can definitely do some more chopping and hopefully get that 300 for the bridge repair. And we're gonna need another chest soon, so hopefully we'll get enough for both of those things. So we wanna make more field snacks, but we are limited by pine cones. There's more pine trees off to the left. I wonder if we can get there. I can't see. Oh, nice. There's a ton over here. Excellent. This will be good. Give me a pine cone. There we go. One more field snack. midnight so I think we did pretty good with our wood chopping 343 wood that's almost enough for both the bridge and a new chest that's excellent so let's go to bed day three in the books Whew. and uh, so much is happening all right level two foraging we can cook a survival burger not that we have a kitchen but that's okay All right, we are gonna try and play about three days at a time. We'll do the usual, a little watering and exploring. <gasps> Look, our pet dish is full. Does that just carry over from the rain yesterday? It's kind of nice. Oh, a coconut. Oh, jeez, and I forgot to fill my watering can. That's what I walked over here for. Okay. So that's crops taken care of. I want to get a few more tree seeds and a little bit more wood. Ooh, a geode. Our first geode. Let's check our mail. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Dear Farmer Meraki, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robin. Oh, Robin, we are so far away from that, but thank you. So, other than finishing up wood gathering, what should we do today? Should we fish? And then we could potentially buy the backpack upgrade, which would be very helpful. Eh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I think we're definitely gonna go fishing. I really want that backpack upgrade. They got me with their advertising. Help wanted. Looking for a daffodil to make into buttons for a dress I'm making. If you find one, could you bring it to me? Emily. Yes. I just so happened to have seen one as I was walking here. <laughs> We're already distracted. <laughs> That's a dandelion. But there is a daffodil up here. Oh, what's that? 
Luminusrum. Luminusrum? Luminusrum. <gasps> Plus five luck? Whoa! That's amazing! What is that? And it's a bad luck day today. How? <laughs> I probably, I just, I shouldn't question these things. Hey, Haley. Oh, you're the new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Uh, yes I am. Did you hear that scream? Oh my word, don't even talk about it. Hi, Benny. We're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the reality of your life. Aw, hey, Lewis. The saloon can get pretty lively at night. Sometimes we even put a coin in the jukebox. <laughs> Hi, Gunther. It's wonderful to see Penny teaching in a small town like this. I once gave a lesson about minerals for the children. Clint gave us some geodes and ores for samples. I guess Vincent still has that little golden ore. Aw, cute. Oh my gosh! Ooh, Wilford. Well, hello. You're that new farmer, right? Yes, I am. I'll make you a deal. You don't bother me and I you. Well, that's kind of rude. We seem to have agreed on something. Seriously, that was literally a minute ago. Whoa! Now, go away and don't annoy me. Okay, well, Wilford, you're a little grump. Okay, more trash. Ooh, who are you? Hello? Can I talk to you? But I can't reach you. Uh, I'm going to assume you're just playing in the water. Alright, let's look at our inventory. Sand dollar. The shell of a flat species of burn urchin. These shells are primarily used as decorative objects. So we can probably sell those. Dried sea sponge, a once living animal whose body has washed up on shore. They are primarily used by humans as bathing sponges and painting tools. Huh. And then plastic bag. Hmm. Maybe we should keep the dried sponge, but the sand dollar should be more than enough to get our training rod. Hi, Willie. Hmm, I would tell you about my thoughts, but it's a fisherman's secret. <laughs> okay. Fine. All right, 210 gold. We're swimming in it. All right, let's head up to the mountain lake to fish. That's my favorite place to fish early game. The fish sell for pretty well and they're not too hard to catch. Hey, Demetrius. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thank you for introducing yourself. Hello, Meraki. How are you? Hmm? What? No, I haven't heard anyone scream. So I personally really like using a training rod early on in the game. It's only 25 gold, but it gives you a fishing bar size of a level 5 fishing skill, which helps you get a perfect catch. This is very helpful because you level up faster and you're more likely to get the treasure chest, for example, if one happens to appear. The downside is that, unfortunately, you can't get quality fish. They're all the lowest quality, which they don't sell for as much, but they stack in your inventory, so it's kind of a trade-off. But for 25 gold, I think it's really helpful for the first couple fishing levels. Also, guys, I just realized I'm going to go ahead and change the sound of my fishing notification. That way, if anyone else is playing along, you don't get confused. Though, I've never played with a different fishing sound, so I might get confused. 
Uh, I am actually gonna go ahead and change the sound again. I don't like that one. That one's better. Oh, can we get it? We're gonna go for it. Oh, missed a perfect catch for that, but maybe there's something good in the treasure chest. Hmm, cool. All right, not terrible. We have 24 energy, so that's three more casts. It's eight energy per cast, and it's already getting late. So we're gonna finish using our energy and call it a day. Last cast. Zero energy. Oh, <laughs> and I saw the it's getting late notification and reflexively withdrew my fishing rod. Oops. Oh well. We'll leave our fishy things here for now. And let's head home. I wonder if we can talk to Linus. Linus! Oh, he's sleeping. Never mind. Goodbye. All right, guys, let's go ahead and check our to-do list. Ooh, I forgot to bring Emily a daffodil, oops. And our parsnip should be done, and we need to figure out who the last few people are we need to meet. I did repair the bridge, and I got the training rod, so we just need to fish for money. So what are our goals for next time? We need to activate the community center cutscene. We'll need to start mining. And we need to get the backpack upgrade. So those are going to be our big goals for next time. Level one, fishing. Well guys, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for joining me on our Frab Just Farm playthrough. I love Stardew Valley and I am so excited for the mods that we've included. If you're interested in any of them, I've included a link down in the description box below. And if there are any mods that you'd want me to add to this playthrough or want to consider for additional playthroughs, link them down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you know the next time I upload. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!